Good afternoon, I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from Clearwater today from Ross Norton Recreation and Aquatic Complex. May is water safety month. So we wanna make sure as many children as possible get exposed to water safety classes, not necessarily swimming lessons, although those are certainly important. Water safety classes, maybe even more so, teaching the little ones what to do if they find themselves in trouble. CFY, which is Clearwater for Youth, although don't let the name fool you, they're serving children throughout Pinellas County. They wanna make sure children, even at Title I schools, who may have certain barriers, economic barriers, parental involvement barriers that keep those children out of these water safety courses, they wanna make sure those barriers are gone and we get as many children exposed to these water safety courses as possible. And who better to oversee a program like that than three-time Olympic gold medalist, uh, my favorite swimmer on the planet, and my favorite mermaid, uh, Brooke Bennett. Uh, you've joined CFY within the last couple of years. Right. And, and while CFY does certainly more than just aquatics, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, so we basically facilitate uh, youth sports programs. Um, we just signed on and approved a grant for Tarpon Springs, which takes us to our farther, farthest north location. Uh, this year and going into 24, we're gonna start pushing into St. Pete, which gives us that full Pinellas County. Certainly when it comes to water safety, yes. this is your passion. Tell right. me about this program. So the Title I Water Safety Program um, specifically focuses on those Title I elementary schools, and you said it, it's those barriers, right? We can provide a free lesson, but these families a lot of times don't have the means to get there. So teaming up with great partners such as City of Clearwater to come to facilities like this and using their staff. Also, we got to get the blessing from Pinellas County Schools. The age group that we focus on is kindergarten through second grade, which that five to nine years old is the second leading cause of accidental death. And wow. we want to do our part being where we live in Pinellas County, that peninsula, that we are not teaching them to swim. It's not the stroke. It's look before you leap. It's knowing not to go in, you know, not to run into a diving well where it's 10 feet deep, but maybe go over to the steps, knowing your comfort zone right. in the water. And they also learn life fast. They learn how if they recognize someone is struggling that they're not gonna go in, they're gonna look for adult or call to that lifeguard. I love all of this. We do transportation for two weeks. Um, we provide each student with a water safety shirt, so whether they're outside or it's just not feeling comfortable around their peers to just be in a swimsuit, they've got a nice shirt, right, that they can wear in the water, take it home, spread that message of what CFY is doing. Um, and then you have the instructor cost, you know, so we have all the instructors in the water trying to keep those ratios lows and, uh, low instructor to student ratio. Um, Red Cross has stepped up huge. They've been water safety advocates now for 100 years. JWB does a great job of help funding the instructors so that the city of Clearwater is not coming out of pocket. Um, and it is, it's expensive. So we need people's help. And we want, CFY sees this as we've done four schools so far. We're looking to add two to three more schools when school gets back into the fall. And then by 2024, we're having that conversation to push south and to get into yeah. St. Pete. There's pools and waters everywhere. We yeah. gotta protect our children. Keep doing what you're doing. You're making a difference. You're saving lives. If you wanna help Brooke Bennett do what she's doing, go for the gold. <laughs> CFYPinellas.org. CFYPinellas.org. You can donate on there or find out more information if you wanna get your school involved. We'll put that at fox13news.com to make it easy for you. Charlie Belcher, Fox 13 News.